Hello there, Jackson here, how are you? Welcome to the channel, nice to have you as always. So this is one of those videos where I shamefully tell you about a plugin I just discovered that I wish I'd been using for donkey's years and feel a bit like a chump. And in this case, it's particularly painful because it would have saved me a good few thousand dollars over the last few years. Anyway, every site I build these days, pretty much from myself or for clients or what have you, will always have some form of sign up, you know, some lead capture, landing page, newsletter sign up, that kind of thing. And I have used virtually almost all the email platforms there are going out there with various levels of WordPress integration, etc. So I started with MailChimp way, way back when, 15 years ago, possibly. Then I moved to Drip when email marketing and automation and funnels and stuff became a bit of the rage. Then more recently, four, five years ago, it was ConvertKit, which was amazing back then. And then at the beginning of this year, I was looking to see what else was on offer. And during the research, I actually came across the subject of today's video and it absolutely knocked my socks off. You see, the problem with all these platforms, I mean, they, don't get me wrong, they all, they all work really well and they do pretty much the same thing a bit differently and blah, blah, blah. But the problem is, is the, is the cost. Like my convert kit yearly cost was 600 bucks a year. And of course, for what I was using it for, I just wasn't getting the value out of it. But then I discovered Fluent CRM. It's a WordPress plugin and it basically is an email marketing platform on your website it absolutely knocks it out of the park oh and uh, did i mention it's completely free i mean it's got everything you can just do simple newsletters email campaigns lead nurturing funnels full-on marketing campaigns and sales campaigns i mean it just it's ridiculous and this slightly longer than planned introduction video will take you through the basics of the free version and the pro is just mind-boggling but anyway i'm gonna get through the shame of losing thousands of bucks over the last few years and present to you the absolutely spectacular fluent crm all right prepare to be dazzled here we got a fresh ish install of wordpress let's get to the admin got the plugin fluent crm installed let's activate that we'll get to our new fluent crm menu here's where we get the wizard let's go basic information it's jackson with jackson hq as my address let's get the logo in logos in next right so segments our lists different lists for different mail outs for different newsletters perhaps different customer types doesn't matter let's have customers and let's have newsletter on there next up we get our tag so this allows us to segment even further let's put a couple of simple ones in premium and standard you'll need to think about this for your email list and your segmentation next up we get a prompt to install fluent forms plugin Yes, please. This is the easiest way you'll ever get to ever put a form on your site for email subscribers. Let's complete that installation. Cool, installation is complete. Let's go to our dashboard. This is where we see all the stats, all the campaign info and all that jazz. Nothing much going on, obviously. Let's talk about contacts. Here's our contact list. Nothing on there currently. Let's sort that out. Let's import some contacts. Now you can do this in a couple of ways, three ways actually. From a CSV file, import your WordPress users or from another provider. If we look at the other providers, we can see that it's got some of the main players there and you can just connect with them, stick in your API details and you're off to the races. We're actually going to go and use the different method of CSV import. And if you've got WordPress users, i.e. say you've got customers on your site already as WordPress users or some other plugin that has created users for you, then that's brilliant. It just zaps all your users in as contacts and you can tag them and segment them and all that sort of jazz. We're going to use a CSV file because I have a couple of spreadsheets already prepared. One is for my customers. Uh, the other one is for my general subscribers. And you'll see here that if we choose that CSV file option and go to the next screen, select our deliminator, that we've got on our spread. You'll see we've got this download sample file and that's what I've used to create these two spreadsheets. Oh yes, indeed, I do love a good spread. Right, um, let's get them in. So let's get the files in. I've got them here, drop that in there. Automatically maps the fields to the column headers. And by the way, the free and the pro version of this plugin supports custom fields. So if you've got specific data you wanna store about your 
contacts like favorite color, football team, whatever you like, you can actually map your columns to custom fields within the platform. Let's assign it a list. Now we know that we've got customers on this spreadsheet, so let's give them the customers list tag, but we also want to send them the newsletter because we want to send everyone the newsletter, right? So let's give them newsletter and the tags are premium because they are customers. And the subscriber status is like the contact status in reality. We want to set that as subscribe when we import them. Let's confirm import. It's doing it and it's done it. Fantastic. 250 contacts imported. Let's do another one. CSV again. Let's grab the file. These are just our subscribers this time. Drop that in. Auto maps the lot. This is going to be just our newsletter list because they're not customers. Hopefully they will be. Tag will be standard and we'll set them as subscribed as well and click confirm import. It does the import. It's done the import. We've got 250 more folk on our list. Let's close that up. And there we go, 500 contacts. Let's have a quick look at the contacts. You can see here, we've got quite a bit of info going on. Clearly the, all the contact info, there's the custom field thing I was talking about. You can add whatever you like there. And actually, all sorts of fields like single line text, numeric fields, select choices, multiple checkbox. You know, if you have a, an onboarding routine that you need for your customers or your clients, whatever, great little use case for that. And it would really be the CRM as it is named anyway. So emails, that will show you emails have been sent to them. Form submissions. So if you've got a landing page with a specific sign up form for a free giveaway or something, that will show in that form. Notes and activities. This is great. So you can add notes and just do the whole end-to-end -end customer relationship management with full transparency for all your users if you, maybe you've got different teams that look at this. And I mean, it's epic. Loads more of that sort of stuff to come when I explore the more powerful uses of this amazing plugin. And here we got the general info, you know, name and what list they're on, tags and stuff. And of course, you can tag them and update them and all that sort of great stuff. Right, we've got our contacts in. We could just start sending newsletters or campaigns now. We'll get onto that in just a second. But what about new folk that want to sign up to your website or subscribe to your newsletter? This is where Fluent Forms comes in. And you see it's, it's already installed based on that option we left ticked. So on our CRM, let's go to Forms. We'll create a new form and it will be our subscription form. Look how easy this is. Uh, this is a subscribe. Actually, no, we'll call it newsletter. Add to list, newsletter, add to tags. Well, just standard for now. And here's the gold, a double opt-in. So they get sent an email to confirm their email address, which means you know it's a real email address and you've got a nice clean database. Brilliant. Create form, done. Let's copy the short code and let's get in that short code on one of the pages, on our contact page in actual fact. Let's just paste that in. Done. Save that. Let's have a look at our front end somewhere here. There we go. Contact. There's our form. And it's going to be Fred test. And it's going to be Fred at test.com. I'd like to sub, please. Bingo. Please check your inbox to confirm your subscription. Well, I'm running WP local, local WP here. So let's go to our tools and go to our email log and here's our email log and there we go we've got an email to confirm our email it's working seamlessly at the moment let's just before we go and confirm that email if we just go back to our contact list where is it in our contacts you see currently fred is showing as pending because we haven't confirmed the email address so crucial to keep your list nice and tidy so let's go back to our link and let's confirm that. But I'm going to copy that and get that into the front end. Confirm that. Subscription confirmed. This is all brilliant. Back to our contact list. Let's have a look what Fred's saying now. Refresh that and yeah, subscribed. He's on the list. Nice one, Fred. Right, so let's talk about this newsletter. Well, that comes under campaigns. We've got no campaigns as it stands. We can click to create your first one and give it a title. Newsletter one create the campaign. And here we have the fluent interface for composing your newsletter and loads of options here for what sort of style we want. This is a box style. We've got a sort of plain centered. We've got text to the left. We've even got the WYSIWYG editor, if that is still your cup of tea. And if you want a stronger cup of tea, you could do it all in, in HTML, but be careful with that because sometimes that doesn't render properly in email clients. There's also on the pro version, a drag and drop thing. 
But um, hello, isn't uh, the block editor a drag and drop? Loving the fact the block edit is part of this real true WordPress style this is. You can also import templates. So you see here we've got email templates. So you can import the template if you've got a standard one that you use every month for your newsletter or a specific campaign or something. And then you click continue, which saves it and it goes through the processes. You can see above here, and I've got my actual own website open here with this newsletter number two, which is yet to be sent out. And you'll see if we go to compose, which is what we were on on the demo site, you see I've just got my standard template imported and then you can just go through, add the subject and other settings, add UTM parameters so you can track this stuff on your Google Analytics. You can send test emails throughout the whole process, which is fantastic. And I encourage you to do that constantly while you're building out your emails. Then you can select who you want to send it to, which contacts based on tags, based on lists. You can also exclude contacts, which is very, very useful. Perhaps you've got a customer list, but maybe one or two customers, you don't really want them to be customers anymore. Tag them as don't like you and uh, exclude them off your emails. Then you get onto the review and send and you just give it a quick review. Obviously keep sending test emails at this point. You can choose to schedule it or send it right now. I mean, it just works like end to end straight off the bat. So there's something we haven't mentioned as yet, which is super powerful. Let's get back to the demo site which is the automations. And this really is, you know, quite phenomenally brilliant, especially for a free product. So let me show you what I mean on the Fluent page. If we go to their automation page, essentially you can build out funnels is the long and short of it. So when someone does something, do this, wait a couple of days. If they've done something that you want them to do, then do something else. If they don't do something, send them something else. I mean, it's just it's just bonkers, brilliant stuff. I mean, I've used this a lot with ConvertKit and also Drip and it, is, it works exactly the same way. It's all in WordPress and it's free, the free version. So automation's brilliant, brilliant for newsletters, brilliant for signups, just absolutely epic. Now, there is one thing I haven't mentioned, which is SMTP. Now, SMTP is something you should have on every one of your websites rather than using the built-in WordPress PHP version, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you should do because you shouldn't be sending emails directly from your web server. You should be using a transactional email service provider. And Fluent CRM makes this easy by just having you install their version, which I've been using for more two years or more now, which is the best version of an SMTP plugin, which you will find hundreds of on the WordPress repo. This is a brilliant one. It doesn't try to sell you anything. And with a single click, you get it installed. You click to configure it and you go through the process of configuring it with your chosen transactional email provider. I'm not going to go into details here now, but there's tons of docs on the Fluent website about this. And I am going to make a specific video about Fluent SMTP. It's up and coming, but you've got to have this. You just, just don't send it directly from your website. So I did mention the pro version. That's, that's actually what I'm using on my website now for my newsletters and other campaign emails. But if you need the pro version, which I do, there is one monster reason why it's the best thing since sliced bread. And that is quite simply the price. Look at this, 90 US for your first year, 129 thereafter. That's about 10 bucks per month. Want to know what I was spending up until a few months ago? ConvertKit, $49 per month I was spending. 600 bucks a year, that's now 10 bucks a month or just over. MailerLite. It's still 25 bucks a month, you know, 300 bucks a year. That's over double what CRM will cost you. MailChimp is just ridiculous for the, for the subscribers. And you've got to remember, there is no, you pay more for how many sub subscribers you've got. That doesn't exist on Fluent CRM. That is the gold. Look at this, 40, 45 UK pounds. That is like 55, 60 bucks. Drip, which I used to use years ago, still 39 quid. But look at, if you, you know, maybe I double my, my email list. It's a hundred bucks a month. That's still just over 10 bucks a month with Fluent CRM. And just, for, just you know, say you've got a big list, maybe you've got 20,000, 25,000. Look at this. You're into the hundreds of dollars per month. That's thousands per, that's thousands per year. That just doesn't happen with Fluent CRM. That alone is worth the, the pro fees. And with the pro version, there's literally too much to go into. There are many videos up and coming about this because I'm just blown away by this platform. Everything's extended, email sequencing, e-commerce integration, abandoned cart with Woo, amazing. Dynamic segmentation, integration with other WordPress plugins and platforms 
insane automator plugins. I mean, it, it really, it really is endless. But if what if all you need right now is just a solid newsletter, stroke email marketing platform, and you want it for free, Fluent CRM is your number one choice, no question. Links are in the description to find out more about Fluent CRM. We have only just begun the journey of discovery with that little beauty. And if you want to see another plugin that passed me by, check out this next video. But until next time, I shall see you later.